121. For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Wonderful words. Absolutely wonderful words. Not that they aren't all wonderful words, but it's so simple, it's so poignant, and it's so true. Now, I don't like when people say, that's very true. Either something is true or it's not. And I kind of did that with the word so gift. true. Yeah, it's a free gift. Yeah, that's a redundancy as well. It's either a gift or it's not a gift. If it's not free, then it's not a gift. Okay, so we say things like that, but I kind of did that was so true, but I was being, um, what's the word when you add something that is um, a superlative? I was making a superlative, not a, a uh, repetition or a redundancy. Anyway, uh, that's my way of getting out of my mistake by saying so true okay um in the preceding verse <clears throat> excuse me he said christ will be magnified in my body whether by life or by death to now explain that thought he gives one of the most comforting verses ever to be written by him to the saints in christ he begins with for to me the words to me are emphatic in the greek to him it didn't matter what others thought about this physical life to him, it was only about one thing, which is to live is Christ. It was Christ and nothing else. That's all that Paul was consumed with. His life was fully consumed with the thought of his life being dedicated, living for Jesus Christ. Okay, this, co this is complementary to his words of Galatians 2 verse 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Paul regarded his life complete and solely as that of being in Christ. The state is not that Christ is merely the source of our life, which he is, meaning our true life, nor is it that he is the main life which is in us, which is also true, but rather Paul is saying that he is, or he should be, the absolute state of our lives so that he is manifest in all that we are and all that we do. Everything that we are, everything we do, everything we think should be directed to Christ. That is what Paul is telling us. When we are seen, people should see Christ. When we speak, people should hear Christ. To live is Christ or as the Greek literally reads, the living is Christ. Our lives should be lived for Christ and to his glory at all times. This is what Paul means in his words when he says these things, to live is Christ, or the living is Christ. 